Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, the Aero Technician. So today I'm gonna discuss about how the operation of a gas turbine engine. So without further ado, let's get to it. So, uh, the basic uh, gas turbine engine. So engine is responsible, an aircraft engine is responsible to take the aircraft uh, forward and these gas turbine engines also called reaction engines why because of the reaction which is sent out from the exhaust it actually makes the aircraft move forward so first we have a, a divergent shaped inlet where it uh, takes the air airstream and with the minimal loss of energy and keeping a constant pressure it introduces the airstream into the compressor so now compressors there are two types a centrifugal as well as axial so today i'm going to talk about axial of compressors axial flow compressors and so when the air is taken in through the compressors uh keep in mind in engines there's something called inlet kind winds as you can see now so these inlet guide vanes they uh, send the airflow at a angle which is suitable for the compressor so the compressor what it does it adds extra energy to the airstream and also temperature so also with uh, there's a ratio of compression uh, per stage uh, it will increase uh, the pressure by 1.2 so while it's moving through the stages it will increase its pressure so when the pressure is increased and it's in the it's in the com compressor it actually pushes the air to the combustion chamber where air is ignited while adding fuel so there's a uh, good ratio for this which is 1 is to 15 so each air molecule uh, is treated with 15 fuel molecules so it's as i said it's ignited but uh, ignited and then it is sent to the turbine now what does the turbine do turbine extract all this energy and drives the uh, compressor so that's the purpose of the turbine it extracts the energy and it drives the compressor and also uh, the turbine expands by reducing the pressure and after this uh, energy reaction is done the rest of the air is sent out through the exhaust through the atmosphere so i think now you can see uh, the brayton cycle on your screen so the brayton cycle it actually starts point point one where the intake and you can see the pressure will increase and there'll be a slight decrease in volume and when it gets to the combustion chamber it actually keeps a constant pressure while increasing the volume so and then i'll get to the important part later and and then from the com combustion chamber it goes down to the turbine where the pressure is reduced while the volume increases and then it comes back to a normal uh, routine so and these Brayton cycles are called constant pressure cycles. I think you know the answer why. Because at the combustion chamber, it actually maintains a constant pressure. So this is uh, this is solely about the operation of the gas turbine engine. So I hope you enjoyed the materials which is shown. And if you like more videos, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and in the comment section below put down anything that you would like to know and your comments or your takes on this video so with another video i'll see you guys next week till then keep fixing